welcome back to our youtube channel mechanical engineering exams made simple friends in this video let us see some more questions from braking and brakes so the question is braking efficiency is generally kept between what is the percentage of brake effi efficiency that is kept between for your vehicles is it 30 to 50 percent or 50 to 80 percent or 90 to 100 percent or 100 percent so definitely 100 percent is not at all an answer so then the question is between either 90 to 100 percent is also very high friends the answer must be between a and b let us see what is correct answer is it a 30 to 50 percent or 50 to 80 percent let us see the answer braking efficiency right friends so the maximum uh, retarding force applied by the brake at the wheels f depends on the coefficient of friction so this is denoted by mu we know that greek letter right right so it is a normal it is a what is a, a coefficient of friction f is equal to mu is equal to f by f is equal to mu r or mu is equal to f by r okay r is the normal reaction f is the frictional force the ratio of frictional force and normal reaction is going to be called as coefficient of friction we have known it from the fundamentals of friction right now the maximum retarding force applied by the brake at the wheels f depends on the coefficient of friction between the road and the tire surface mu the weight of the vehicle on the wheels is w so so mu is equal to f by r so your reaction is equal to the weight of the vehicle yes or no so w weight of the vehicle will be acting downwards the same force is exhibited or sorry exerted by the road surface on the wheels that is your reaction action is weight of the vehicle w and reaction is the opposite to equal to and opposite to the weight of the vehicle w so r is equal to w so from f is equal to mu r if you substitute r is equal to w f is equal to mu w now if the coefficient of friction achieved is unity the total retarding force produced at the wheels is equal to the vehicle weight itself which is equal to the gravitational force experienced by the falling body of the mass equal to that of the vehicle so if this is the case the vehicle experiences a deceleration equal to the acceleration due to gravity g and the brakes are said to be 100 percent efficient there is a theoretical limit for braking efficiency is 100 percent okay so but this is not the case 100 percent cannot be the uh, efficiency of a braking so then, then what is the efficiency in actual practice the efficiency of 100 percent is rarely used for ordinary vehicles requirements like the safety of passengers in public vehicles so the very heavy uh, desiderating force will be so uh, your acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square friends so is a very high value so if you are uh, w is equal to m into z z is equal to let us say 9.81 if you take approximately 10 meter per second square so this will be very heavy and so it is going to uh, cause uh, the uh, it is going to cause danger to the safety of the uh, vehicle uh, passengers uh, traveling in the vehicle right so normally so to avoid this the braking efficiency usually varies from 50 to 80 percent which enable the vehicle to stop within a reasonable distance so the correct answer is b in the hydraulic braking system the movement of the piston in the wheel cylinder is transmitted to the brake shoe by which mechanical element is it through cables or springs or actuating pins or trunnions so well, let us see what is this wheel cylinders in braking system are meant to force the brake shoe against the drum the drum each cylinder has pistons rubber seals cup spreaders springs and dust covers when brakes are applied fluid pressure fluid under pressure enters inlet port and forces piston more outward to push the shoes the movement of piston in wheel cylinder is transmitted to brake shoe by a pin or pilot joint or trunnions spring retracts the piston rods when brakes is when brakes are released so the correct answer is c right toggle lever is used in so we know that there are different types of brakes mechanical air hydraulic and electric brakes so this toggle lever is used in which of the brakes which system of brakes is it mechanical air or hydraulic or electric brakes so definitely it is a mechanical brakes now why toggle lever is used in mechanical brakes these brakes are obsolete now so now nowadays nobody is very rarely mechanical brakes are being used so these brakes are obsolete now as service brakes 
but still used in rear wheels in many vehicles. Mechanical brakes are operated by a cam or toggle lever, toggle lever, which itself is actuated through various mechanical linkages. So, uh, toggle levers are normally used in mechanical brakes, neither rear brakes, nor hydraulic brakes, nor electric brakes. The capacity of a brake depends upon which of the following factors? Is it the unit pressure P between the braking surfaces or coefficient of friction mu between the braking surfaces or the peripheral velocity V or linear velocity of the brake drum or all of the mentioned? Let us see. So, the, question, the answer is D. Let us see how. The capacity of a brake depends upon the following factors. The unit pressure P between the braking surfaces, the coefficient of friction between the braking surfaces mu, the peripheral velocity of the brake drum V, the projected area of the friction surfaces, additional elements and the ability of the brake to dissipate heat equivalent to the energy being absorbed. So, all the four or three are covered in the five points just now we have discussed. So, all three is the correct answer or of them is the correct answer. Friends, in this video also we have seen some questions from braking and braking systems like mechanical brakes, then construction of brakes and operation of the brakes like braking efficiency etc. In the next video, we will see some more question from some other mechanical engineering, your automobile engineering, second paper for your AMVI questions. Let us meet in the next video.